Do you want to quit gambling? Do you need to quit gambling? Are you ready to make that final step onto the path of recovery, but for some reason there is something holding you back, something that feels inherently like fear? Now, there's a number of reasons that you might be experiencing that, which I want to explore in today's video. But what I also want to do is dispel some of the things that I expected, some of the things that i had been told, and some of those fears that put me off going into recovery for such a long period of time. If you are struggling to quit, if you're struggling to make that final decision, then please watch this video to the end, and hopefully I can help you you know, onto that right path. Now, I will always say that I'm not going to be preaching in this video, okay? I'm literally just sharing my experiences and some of the positive things I realized, you know, a bit further down the line. Um, of course, just want to say hi. Hope you keep in safe. Hope you keep in sane. Um, thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel, be that liking, subscribing, sharing, all that sort of stuff. Um, there will be a link to my Patreon, always, as always, in the description below. Anyone who signs up and supports me through there, it's massively appreciated. This topic um, came up a couple of times in a very, very brief live stream I did just yesterday, in fact. And now, if you missed that, um, then please don't worry. It was relatively short and not massively interesting because uh, it was a test, to be completely honest. It was a test to just make sure the system works. If you want to know when the next live stream is, if you want to be informed of it, then make sure you've got the notification bell subscribed and all of that sort of stuff um, because I will be doing more in the hopefully not too distant future. But during this short period, a couple of people asked me about urges. Now, urges are one of those things that before you take that final step and actually stop for good, you fear that your life is going to be sort of plagued by these urges to gamble. In fact, a couple of people asked me, you know, how quickly did the urges subside? You know, do I still get urges and that sort of thing? And we think that these urges are just part of the addiction playing on our brains. And not only are we sort of slightly afraid, I guess, of these urges and the, our inability to control them, but I think also we put off uh, recovery sometimes because we have an inherent fear of failure. And maybe we believe that experience has taught us that we are incapable of resisting said urges and that the addiction is too strong and that somehow failure, lapses, relapses and all the rest of it is somehow an inevitability. And so there's almost a, well, why bother starting a recovery when I know I'm not going to stick to it mentality? And don't get me wrong, that held me back time after time after time. So let's talk about urges, because like I say, these are one of the things that maybe we fear the most when it comes to quitting gambling. Well, I think the good news is this. I don't think that gambling addiction necessarily causes too many urges. Now, hear me out. If you are addicted to a substance, if you are physically dependent on drugs or alcohol or something of that nature, when you stop, there will be physical withdrawal symptoms. Your body will physically crave that particular substance to offset the effects of taking it out of your system. All right, And this is the reason why, if you are an alcoholic, you shouldn't just stop drinking cold turkey because your body has become dependent on that substance. Now... Gambling is still very much an addiction. However, the dependency on that is purely psychological. Think about the last time you had an urge to gamble. Was it a, a, an addiction-driven urge, or was it just a circumstantial desire? I know from the vast majority of my gambling experiences, I didn't feel compelled to gamble. I just felt like I wanted to do it. If I was in a pub, I might think, I want to have £20 in the fruit machine. Maybe I was in there and I was bored, and that was something that was driving me on. Maybe I'd gone out with some mates and I was watching a game of football that I wasn't particularly interested in, so I had the desire to bet on the outcome of that game to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, that, we could say, was a nerd, but in reality, I think that was actually just more uh, just a, a conscious, almost, decision to do something that I thought would be fun, almost in a habitual way. You know, if I'm in the pub, I'm playing the fruit machine. If I'm watching the football, I'm having a bet. All right? And in the cold light of day and with a sober mind, we can actually resist those temptations. We can resist those pleasures. We often choose not to because we believe we're getting something back from it. Now... This sounds like good news, but the problem in this is thus. If we only ever acted on what we deem as urges, 
if we only ever bet in the manner to which we expected we were going to bet with a sober and level-headed mind, and if we only ever spent the money we had pre-allocated to a gambling session, then I get the feeling an awful lot of people wouldn't be watching this video and I almost certainly wouldn't be making them. The decision, based on either a conscious decision or what we perceive to be an urge to put £20 in a fruit machine, is neither here nor there. I could afford to lose £20 in a fruit machine. Obviously you want to win, but that's by the by. But it wouldn't cause me any dramas. In the same way that, you know, if I'm going to watch a football match and I want to put a fiver on a correct score, all right, that, in and of itself, conscious decision, desire, urge, if you will, to place that bet isn't going to cause me any problems. So the urge to gamble is there. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, uh, you know, a, a rational thought. Maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's boredom. I think quite often, sometimes it's boredom and habit that takes us to that place where we gamble. The danger for me was always once I'd started. That's when actually what I deemed to be true urges, that's when the actual addiction would kick in. Because once I had started, I would be incapable of stopping. Once I put that £20 in the machine, which realistically I could take or leave at the front end, once that £20 was in, if it was lost, then all bets were off. My brain had flooded itself with dopamine. It was chasing something, be that the loss, the tangible thing that we're chasing, or just be that a hit after hit after hit. Releases of endorphins and dopamine and everything else. All right. So once I'd started, that is when the dangerous urges occurred. Not before I started. So when you get into recovery, if we can look at this and rationalise it and play it through to the end, then providing we can prevent ourselves from taking that first bet or putting that first note in a machine or depositing that first amount at a casino, then we're okay. The problem lies not with a sort of addictive urge, so to speak, but the fact that before we start gambling, we can actually rationalise and justify having that small bet. It's why I talk about when you get into recovery and you've been in recovery for a while, that we have to be very, very cautious of complacency. Because realistically, there won't be any driving urges. We won't be sucked into bookmakers. We won't feel like a, a physical withdrawal because we're not having a bet. So we may deem that we don't have urges as such. We're fixed. We can have a gamble. And then it's only when we test that theory and we test that hypothesis to the end that we realise that actually it's only once we start that we can't stop. And that is what resets the cycle. So like I say, the good news is that if you can find out the points at which you gamble and put blocks in place, if you think that actually, like I did, that quite often you gamble out of boredom. I mean, a lot of this coincided with the time I was going to the pub every day. And yes, quite often I knew people in there, but sometimes I'd wander in and there'd be no one in. And so I'd think, oh, I'll have a, you know, I'll have a quick go on the machine. And that quick go, well, we know how that ends up, don't we? So if you can feel yourself getting a desire to gamble, not necessarily an urge, but a desire, and withdraw yourself from that situation or find something else to do, and as I said many times, it doesn't have to be something super productive. You don't need to learn, go on a course or go to the gym or take a, or go for a run or do anything massively productive. But if you find yourself wanting to gamble, just consider whether or not it's because you're bored and you just need something to do and your go-to has become gambling. And find something else to do, be that, it could be playing a computer game. You know, it could be just going for a walk around the block. It could be going to the supermarket and buying something for dinner. I don't know, whatever it is, right? Just withdraw yourself from that situation and accept that maybe this isn't an addiction. This isn't the addictive bit of your brain, you know, drawing you into gambling. It's just because that's become your, your go-to pleasure when you've got nothing else to do. But once you've started, that's when the dangerous urges, so to speak, come in. So in answer to the guy's questions that were asking me yesterday about urges, I can retrospectively say, okay, that whilst I feared ur urges, I never massively got them. I was never drawn in to gambling from any other way other than boredom or just because that's what I did and I'd got used to doing that. However, all my, you know, attempts, failed attempts at recovery have ended the same way with the desire, the choice the conscious sober-minded choice to have a small bet or a small deposit or one note in a machine okay that has then got out of control and snowballed and become 
what we know as gamblers to be the destructive nature of the addiction and of the process. I hope that makes sense. I hope that wasn't too uh, too too dull. Um, I think it's just it's just an important thing to think about. If you are in the early stages of recovery and you think you're having a gambling urge, just think: Am I actually just bored? You know, is this just because I'm used to doing this? Is it because when I've normally got a bit of time in my hands and nothing else to do, I normally just have a gamble? And if we can make the decision that that is in fact what's driving us, rather than some you know hairy, scary urge that's loitering in the back of our head, ready to pounce, then we cannot open that can of worms. We cannot open you know open that drawer of disaster that's a terrible metaphor um but we can't basically you know crack open the addiction again anyway i'm talking nonsense i'll leave you now um thanks very much for your support as always and like i say there'll be another live stream coming soon so hit the notification bell subscribe sign up to my patreon if you want to support me in that way it'd be much much appreciated uh, but until then stay safe stay sane and see you soon all the best <laughs>